All right, so back to this. Man, I, I really do love this main menu theme, honestly. Let's, uh, just for the main menu theme, Jesus Christ. Let's uh, increase this. I really do enjoy it. Um, second thing, so this is, what, part three? Um, and the kind of big, you know, interesting thing, and what we saw, and I'd say, you know, at the end of the last part, right, is we start to see kind of cement and confirm, you know, that both, uh, Jesus Christ, I keep forgetting this dude's name, or Thuy, or it's like Thou, I don't even know. Uh, this dude has the weirdest name. Both versions, right, positive and the negative, we can see the, again, you know, presence of the other emotion, that opposite emotion, then, right? It wasn't a complete split, and they each know this, right? But again, also from what we've observed, it really is like the Tao, if you think of it, right? You know, yin-yang. Uh, again, and, but we see really at the end with the whole, again, you know, cleaning incident as well as, you know, dinner incident, right? Uh, I say incident, right? But just those interactions between the two, we can really see the effect they each start to have on each other and kind of wearing off. And again, going down this route of them being kind of like, you know, I guess I don't want to say allies, but like sort of kind of like mutual going, well, we're kind of doing the merging path, but I feel like it'll end up just being overall, again, them being like kind of allies, you know, or on the same side, right? Them being, what's the term? Um them being friendly rather than you know hostile right again it's something to where we can really start to see this kind of start to grow and again within the overall i guess you know umbrella or like context or like you know kind of story of you know whatever uh what's his name uh lua his whole like immortality quest right the big thing is i don't really care about that and honestly the game kind of sucked up until what we're kind of seeing through these two is, again, their interactions with each other, right? It's something to where the game, you know, like, up until that point, hasn't really been interesting. It's kind of sucked. But now we're really kind of starting to see that. And again, it's very enjoyable there. We're also seeing all the uh, choices we can make, right? You know, and really the, the difference, potential difference there and what it comes down to. But again, you know, Thew, right? Again. Uh, and also, I don't know if the room is cleaner, like, or if they changed the, uh, screen at all, but, you know, you're not going to jerk faces. And again, the fact that he's actually awake and doing shit before, you know, positive he leaves is a good sign. Also, now that we're out of the main menu, just, uh, bring that back down. Not today. Say once a week before he knows my organs fail again, because he's basically just drinking poison, you know. Can finally hang out. And again, because this is something that negative Theo has wanted, but I guess positive Theo has really hasn't really, I guess, I don't want to say hasn't, you know, noticed or hasn't figured out, but more so just hasn't really wanted to deal with negative Theo, given that negative Theo hasn't been doing anything, right? He's been like sleeping. So, you know, we can finally see him and get into like the ball of the game where these two spend time together. Mm. which is what we want right you know i don't know ghost and again because we know negative view doesn't have the um what would you call it doesn't have kind of the i guess uh i don't want to say willpower for two but more so just the um confidence you know and social you know um again social i guess uh not motivation but sort of social um I don't know, social skills just to like actually be able to do anything, you know, again, right? So you want to exit the house two days in a row. Go out sometimes. Like, wait. And again, you know, because the thing being, they're both like, it's not like a happy version. It's not like a happy person interacting with a sad person. You know, it, it can't be understated that it's literally just the same person, just two different versions, right? So they have like the same memories and same not they like know what the other does because they are the same person, right? They're them, you know. They were literally part of the whole at one point, right? So it's something to where, you know, like I go grocery stores, even the gas station. Cause again, this was before they split though. Since they split, negative few hasn't done anything. So 
But again, you know, the whole point is that it's like I went to Vivian, and this is interesting because again, remember, positive few doesn't know who Vivian is. That is a foreign, like unknown person to that. That negative few has gone visited and seemingly again, you know, Tua, right? Or Lua, or whatever his name is. Yeah, Lua has also referenced before. So again, this is like the second time he's hearing this person, but doesn't actually know who they are. So so it was almost damn, that's crazy. But all which you know, kind of crazy implication, especially given, you know, Vivian uh, was at one point, you know, on what would you call it? Pretty uh, roped into uh, Lua's quest for immortality. But again, the bigger thing is just positive Theo has no idea who that is. Who is Vivian? Again, literally, she's the R mage, the one at the legal store. Miss Mage. When'd you go? Again, so I guess he did know her, just not by Vivian. You know, she said she was interested in the spell. You have to, and again, so I'm I am kind of interested. And I guess logically it makes sense that he would know her, but it, it it's kind of odd and weird that he doesn't know her name. Like, well, I guess to be fair, no, it actually does kind of make sense because if you remember, negative few told her his name, and then she told her his hers, right? So I guess that would make sense why they each know her, but only he knows her by Vivian. Take that as you don't want to go visit her. I take that as you do. What? I have two cells. Maybe she'll think we're cool. Hey, that's kind of a fact, though. Like, and especially if she's someone who you perceive to be on your side, given that she warned you about Lua to begin with, and obviously Theo didn't take her advice, but, you know, now he's in this situation. She'd think that. But also, it's like, I mean, because here's the thing, and the positive Theo, if he's actually on this quest to kind of change his negative self, he should recognize, I mean, to be fair, like last night, with these two was a very big positive change for negative view, but this could be another, you know, potential win for that. Right. You know, again, so yeah, like see, this is kind of a no brainer, right. You know, hello. So smooth. And again, now it's like, huh, I'm anxious enough already. This is where the moment where Vivian sees it. It's like, Oh, I see what he did, you know, to see it. And again, right. It's my R half and he is cool. And this is what positive to you saying this. So thanks. I, or it, that was, I don't even, I, you know, they're gassing each other up. Right. I mean, to, to be fair, that's, you know, what makes sense and what you do. Right. It's like, Oh, you know, this uh, version of me, you know, it's great. Right. Oh no. Thank you. Other me. Right. You know, it's just, uh, since you have that like opportunity or chance to do that. Um, what's up? Did you freeze? That's not cool. It's cool as ice. Get it? Because it's get it because it's uh frozen, right? You know, and uh oh my god, hold on a sec. There we go. Huh. Anyway, so now can I get you two? Yeah, it's like well, it's like all right now. Why are you here though? You don't have to have anything. Also, yeah, so green, I guess this is a good way to tell because normally. It's a bit awkward seeing these two in a conversation or interaction with an art person. Because when it's only these two, it's easy to distinguish. But positive view is green. Negative is a blue, right? More suitable at pharmacy. For something more specific, I have some, ate something poisonous. Suppress that kind of vomit. That's how your body's trying to rid itself of the poison, so just puke. Well, it's more so trying to cure yourself of the poison. You know, I don't know, get a gastric lavage? I have no idea what the fuck that is. Now, a very magical solution. You know, why are you looking for magic when science is you covered? Seem pain since it's magic making me ill. And then she's like, huh? Like, what did you do? Can we go now? And again, you know, this is the blue. Having a conversation. Being really anxious. You're like, damn, freaking. But it's also like, because, all right. We know Theo, at least negative Theo is a crush on Vivian, right? Which is interesting given that you know whole few seemingly didn't and positive few is seemingly indifferent which again kind of a very you know interesting and also i guess i don't know maybe because again and this is something lua mentioned and i feel like really the, the interesting part is kind of the intricacies of you know i guess the spell that into the nature of having a split soul Right, because whole few and nor positive few seem to have feelings towards Vivian that negative few does. So how he developed those, who knows, right? Because he knew who she was and went there post splitting, right? And kind of, 
I guess, questioned or inquired about the possibility of reversing it, and it wasn't there. But that interaction, I guess, maybe is what set that up. So, even happened. He was five minutes ago. I mean, here's the thing, right? I feel like he should kind of know, like, this is something where, like, to be fair, okay, listen. For for the amount of sexual innuendos and implications positive Theo has made, he should kind of, you know, be able to read the room and understand the situation. Like, there should be no, and especially since he's just, the, I guess, only reason he went there was to kind of, you know, just, I guess, be like, oh, look, we're split in two. Like, this whole fucking bullshit about whatever potential poison cure doesn't matter. You know, the, again, thing there and what that comes down to, right, you know, here is just, he, he should be able to see like, oh, you know, all right, I get it, I get it. But again, it does raise the question of, how would i guess negative view kind of maybe it's because he's just inherently more vulnerable so it's something to wear a because let's put it this way right like if you're a more vulnerable person i guess if you're someone who has less self-confidence right you're gonna be inherently like more attracted to like other people I'm, I'm really coming up with some bullshit right now like but just you know what it it, it makes sense for negative Theo to have an attraction towards Vivian that either positive nor whole Theo wouldn't have, given that he's just inherently less self confident. But because he's less self confident in himself and views himself in a lower light, he's going to view other people in a higher light as a result of that kind of difference in sort of uh, what what's the term? That difference in you know outlook right between. Like, positive Theo probably views himself as, you know, an e I don't want to say equal, but on a relatively similar level to Vivian versus negative Theo, who kind of views her as leagues above it. So by that, you know, nature, there's just going to be more of an inherent attraction in that, right? I'm really making up some bullshit right now. But basically, we're going to go home with him because there's they're just talking some bullshit that doesn't matter. But really what it's about is we're kind of committing to the whole negative Theo the whole like merging and or kind of the thews being, you know, on the same side, allies, you know, friendly rather than hostile. So potentially going home could, you know, resolve and remediate, but also allow, you know, kind of positive you to kind of, you know, actually realize what's going on and be like, oh, yeah, he has, you know, the thing and attraction and whatnot. So sure, you know, thanks for the advice. I'll puke it all out happily. You know, kind of magic's making you sick. Don't worry. So again, but the thing here is, you know, damn. But here's the thing, right? What was that? So embarrassed. It was rude as hell. It's not me you should apologize to. Didn't sound like she could help me anyway. I mean, to be fair, you know, she probably did have something. But it's also like at the end of the day, we're more cons like if we did the whole killing, you know, our negative self route, we would have just stayed there. But again, our focus is on eventually merging, if not at least these two being friendly and allies. So, sees my oh my god, dude! What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. He's gonna fucking like do some shit, dude. After what he's been saying, I would not fucking hey. Hey, this is a damn. That's a big ass blanket. Holy shit! How can that fit? Like. You know, damn, that's freaking generic ass cola. Like, you know, but again, you know, and to be fair, right, it is kind of, you know, you're the third, because I'm not even going to lie, many times I'm a third wheel in a conversation, but not an actual fucking, like, you know, scenario. But just like if it, you're, two people are talking, like, this isn't even inherently romantic. Like, if two people are talking, I'm usually kind of the third one in the conversation where I just kind of sit there and be like, mm -hmm, yep, that's cool. Like, you know, but obviously, again, we know kind of the other angle that this negative view is kind of taking or approaching, right? So. Hey, and, you know, this is after they actually ate healthy. So you get a little reward, you know. So. And just move it. I was about to say that's kind of a crazy statement on his part. So, damn, why is there so much fucking screw? Jesus Christ. 
you know, hey, that's, hey, W, W, dude, like, you know, just eat your damn fish. Bitch, what, do you still, have, I thought you fucking finished it. You know, I like fish. Damn, that's crazy. You know, have some broccoli sprouts and we'll be a mortal. I mean, to be fair, you know, Lua is working. This is kind of, it, it opens an opportunity because he's working on, you know, something for immortality. Like the whole downside of splitting your soul was A, you know, you basically put your whole negative self into one half. B, you know, you split your life force in half. But if you can be immortal anyway, then it doesn't really matter. So, finality of Captain Baxter. We, dude. Hey, this is a gym. Dude, imagine they have a gym arc. That, that'd be kind of crazy. They Ain't no way they have a money, money for a public gym. Maybe like Planet Fitness, because that's what, like 10 bucks a month? Like, they can probably manage that. But you're not going to any, like, you know, fucking... I, I mean, to be fair, you know, you don't really need any more than whatever they got there, right? Like, people like to dog... This is going to be... Well, I don't want to say it's a hot take, but I do feel like, you know... People tend to dog on places like Planet Fitness and kind of more so just, you know, local commercial gyms. But like, bro, you don't need more than that. Like, unless you're fucking like an elite power lifter or like bodybuilder, you just need like basic equipment. Like, you don't need high end shit. Like, use the basic equipment. Get a cheap gym membership. Use the basic equipment and, you know... That's really all you need. If it's that big of a deal, work on your diet, sleep schedule, you know, other stuff, right? You know, like you can get a home gym, be part of home gym gang, right? You know, but it's like people need to act like you have to have like, you know, all this. But like you really don't. So like just whatever cheap option would actually work for these two. So need no, I don't need no Vivian, you know. Here I thought you hated me. In theory, dude, I swear to God positive few needs to really like reel back like there is some genuinely like question like it's genuinely questionable what he's doing so hospital say what are you fucking talking about bro what yeah dude what are you talking about bro you know these go to sleep damn that's crazy you know vivian's messing her Focus, focus. Lua's working on the project again. You know, again, immortality, right? So the, the hat split doofus wants to help, so be it. That's exactly what I thought. In Lace, interesting. So Lacey must have been the person who died in the name or pursuit of immortality. Again, his project. That's our presumption, right? You know, Lua is working on the potion just get under my skin. Came around to rub it in my face. Not playing his game. So again, this is very interesting, right? So what the fuck? She knocked them over. Max and Hoobie Pre. All right, you know. Damn, hey, good for her. Good for her. You know. Oh, is she actually like, this is very interesting right yeah dude this is like i in his situation i'd be surprised as shit i'm like what are you doing here like you know <laughs> oh dude you know i also all changed my mind i'm no longer willing to let you assist me you're working on your own little bird flies tells me of an art assistant well that's freaking tau right or whatever her name is tau so and again you know we also know that positive view at least has some you know uh, sort of impact again by being the tester, right? So, so would you like some coffee then? Let's see, damn, what the fuck is going on? Like, Jesus Christ! Like, imagine it's just poison. Like, you know. Okay, but what's like? Tell you not to hurt anyone while you're at it. I'm not hurting anyone. The guy, dude, came over the other day. Use it and again because positive view implied that he was poisoned due to magic, and that's kind of that's enough to tip off, uh, again Vivian that oh yeah she he's you know a part or has an impact on that with uh, Lao right or Lua. What are you doing? You're going to kill him. Spare for Mayweather. 
keep this up and I'm going to report you. And then why come here to announce your intentions? One of your empty threats. Enough during you to bury you. And again, because she worked on it before. So she has an inherent tie and connection to that. Right? So, again, right? Let's see. Lacey, and again, Lacey, that's the second time that name was mentioned. So, and again, because she was a third party who was seeing it. So, really, it seemed to be between Lua, Vivian, Lacey. Lacey kicked the bucket. And again, that kind of caused a rift or split between these two, where Vivian blames Lua. Lua seemingly just doesn't care, you know, in that at the end of the day, so long as he gets what he wants, it's all that really matters. So, Lost cause, yeah. That's a guilt over what, and again, she blames him, right, directly. She wanted to do it. And again, because we we obviously were never going to really know. Funny enough, I watched a Miraculous short, and it made me realize, like, we still don't know how the fuck, you know, basically anything pre-series went down, you know, which I guess goes to show the level of writing of the show. But it's we're never going to actually figure out what happened between these three. Or at least specifically. But it is interesting to kind of know and see how the story is being fleshed out, particularly Thew's place in it with this whole immortality business. Since she was, damn, that's crazy. She was, I, he's like, damn, that's crazy. I really didn't know. And again, you know, it, it's interesting there because, again, you know, it could have been something to where if this actually makes Lua's very, character very interesting because... It's something to where if he was a good person, it could have been something to where they were, you know, actually ended up being a thing and, you know, working on it together. But seemingly he knew and took advantage of that fact, knowing that she would do whatever for him, you know, and use her kind of as a sacrifice to further that like research and development. Now he's an easy target. Let me try the poison. No, it's not poison. You know, did you ever stop thinking maybe she drank it to help you? Age of Precious Research. And again, you know, the the big thing, this really kind of, and I actually, I'm getting very interested and invested in the story. For as sucky as I think it started out, I'm actually, it, it's interesting because this shows and, you know, adds a layer to it to where it seems like, it really seems as though Vivian was the one who kind of spearheaded the effort towards finding immortality, right? And it just so happened that, again, the mistake happened and she realized the error of her ways. But Lua still, in a, in a sense, this almost makes Lua a victim where I can really kind of see the spin in kind of, you know, the take to where Lua's a victim here, given that he and Lacey had a thing. But again, she did it to help. Vivian, given she was spearheading the effort, and Lua can kind of take that as, you know, Again, basically blame it on Vivian the same way she's kind of blaming it on him. That makes it really interesting, especially given that these two had a falling out, right? You know, until I knew it worked, except the rats. And again, you know, but to be fair, you do, you know, when you test stuff, you generally build up towards, you know, whatever testing group you're aiming for, right? Or audience. If the goal is, you know, eventually humans, right? You would build and work your way up to humans, right? So, no crazy. You're such a monster. You know, and again, this honestly, this is actually, this is very interesting. Like, I'm actually genuinely captivated by this because this adds so much more depth to these characters than you, like, realize. And then I initially thought would be. Like, I thought Lua was just going to basically be this, oh, you know, mustache twirling villain. But you can really kind of, and I'm not saying this is the case, but you can actually genuinely paint the picture for Lua being the victim here. Basically saying that, you know, him and Lucy may have had a thing. Vivian was the one who was spearheading the whole project. You know, Lucy, again, you know, kind of, I don't want to say sacrifice, inadvertently sacrificed herself towards, again, to help further that research for, again, Vivian. Lua kind of, you know... Vivian realizing the error of her ways, but Lua kind of pinning that on Vivian and really just not caring, you know, about uh, her or anyone else and just focused on finishing the project. And we can really see, I guess, because you can spin it one of two ways. Either Lua's the victim or Vivian's the victim here. And 
it's really, I mean, there's honestly, for as crazy as it sounds, and from what we've seen of Lua, you can really kind of spin it both ways. Because the argument you can make is that the reason why Lua doesn't care is because of Vivian making Lucy drink it. Or at least in her mind. But again, you can also spin it as, oh yeah, even though Lua kind of, you know, twisted, I guess, the nature of the project and as well as twisted Lucy's intentions from the very start. It's whether or not the, the question, because clearly, you know, Vivian's crying, so she regrets right? You know, in Lua is this way, right? He's still the antagonist. But the question is, was Lua always this way? Or was it Lucy dying that kind of made him this? Again, very interesting and kind of, you know, something to inquire about. I might honestly make a black screen video on this. So, because you can obviously make the argument that, oh, you know, Lua's acting evil and he's the antagonist. So very clearly, you know, he's evil. But was he that way or was it Lucy's death that made him that way? Because if it was Lucy's death, you can put the blame on Vivian. She was the one who spearheaded it. Lucy, again, you know, drank it in order to help that. And that kind of leaves Lua kind of shafted, you know, and, you know, sidelined. And really kind of why after Vivian would dropping it, you know, would ultimately be spearheading and furthering the effort, right? Because he just doesn't care about anyone else after that. You know, and again, you know, she just leaves. She was crying. I suppose she's just that happy to see you. She called me. I want to hang out with her too. And again, very, yes, me trauma. Damn, that's crazy. Here's the thing though. This, like, I'm actually like, for, in the first part, I said this game sucked. I'm actually so interested, like captivated with this story. Like even more than the coffin of Andy and Lele. Because I'm genuinely, like, in a, I can see it being a toss-up. Is, is Tua, or Jesus Christ, is Lua or Vivian the victim here? You know, you can really make an argument for either. And again, see, still seeing the interactions with Thou, Theo, right? So, I'm not, you just suck at this game. You know, you suck. Damn, that's crazy. Looking at your screen. Maybe you're the one who got caught. We got all of our chi and attributes. Let's see. Let's just play something else. Likes a sore loser. Let's see. Hey, this. Hey, W for these two. Yeah, you know, W for these two, right? So. Hey, what's the T? Like, you know. Wait, what what tea is this? Hold on. You know. Hey, this is a uh... Oh, so this is like a random like neighbor? Like, you know. So again, the fact that, you know, negative few is actually going out. So And again, so this and it, this is also a really interesting conversation because Negative few is definitely more like the whole few, but positive few has kind of been who this game has been surrounding, especially given really you, you positive few has the choice of whether to kind of be friendly or actually, you know, kind of dispose of negative few. So, you know, Also, dude, I these two cannot go out like together, you know. And again, the whole merge, I still think that's the best choice, right? The best option. Like let's see. Again, and very like kind of interesting thing here, right? And I'm going to answer neither or both are because we are, I feel like, kind of committed to the whole, 
merging thing. And I feel like neither of them being that because the whole, oh, this one's a main, this one's not kind of detracts and degrades that idea that they're just parts of a whole in that they can just merge later down the line. So. And again, the whole merging, which is really what we're kind of. And again, him going the Vivian, right, is, and especially since we kind of know, you know, and again, because this is like, again, because if you remember, this is how he knew her name was Vivian to begin with, because after they got split, Vivian was the first person he kind of went to being like, oh, shit, how do I do this? You know, so, and I guess they ended up getting the tea. So this was just an interaction that happened off screen. But again, you know, it's something that I guess helps, you know, and especially now that Vivian kind of knows the nature of Hugh's role in uh, Lua's plan, right? In Quest for Immortality. So, and again, because this is, and again, you know, jerk face being Lua, right? You know, And again, because to be fair, like, they're doing some, like, this isn't a fucking, like, business deal. They're literally just testing, like, magic. Like, there's no, you know, tangible thing, right? You know? Yeah, because, you know, it's, it costs a lot of money. And again, we know... It's because Vivian has some has passed with Lua, right? So even though she doesn't want to see him succeed, you know, she also doesn't want to see him like go away, right? You know, let's put it that way. You can make the I guess Lucy was the one who had a thing for uh Lua, right? I'm not gonna make, you know, the connection or I guess, you know, the extension that oh, Vivian also had a thing. But it's more so just like they have passed in history. So also just she doesn't want few like lucy because again vivian's point of view is that even though she was spearheading the project lua kind of twisted and manipulated both her and lucy to her own his own benefit and that's how lucy died in the process so she doesn't want Theo messing around with lua on top of you know the fact that lua may be that still that connection to lucy right so Yeah, don't worry about that. You know. Hey, that no, this is actually kind of hilarious. Fucking laugh. I swear to God, laugh at what Theo said. That was actually pretty fucking funny. It, it was funny. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, you know, Vivian not laughing is uh brutal. But, you know. And again, hey, that's so. Hey, this is good. This is good, you know. Holy crap, it wasn't, like, this is literally, like, clean. Like, blatantly just clean. Like, the apartment's actually looking good. So, stays this way. I am, damn, you know. And again, so this is negative to you telling positive to you. Yeah, why the fuck are you doing this? Like, you know. Why does it say I'm playing fucking music? Is this? Set up Shut the fuck up. All right. You know. And again, these two are arguing, right? So. Yeah. And again, so we know few is really planning on the whole merging thing, which this, that's kind of the path we're on or going, right? So. I'm learning, and again, don't, I swear to God, don't fucking go to Lua for anything. So, don't go to him for anything. You know? Oh my God, dude. Why the fuck would you do that, bro? Like, is this Lua's dude? Lua? Why the fuck would you? Yeah, and then he's like, huh? 
Is he? No one's going to come knocking if you kick the bucket. I don't think I'll be merging you back. So, all right. And again, just blatantly intending on, you know, positive for you to die anyway. So. You agreed and it's up to me. So. And again, because the, the thing here being, again, we know the scope and nature of Lewis Project. So we know he's just not going to let positive Few off the bat. At the end of the day, you know, maybe irrelevant as to whether Few actually stays or not or continues with him. Drinking that one poison, you know, may have, like, honestly, that it's quite possible that what uh, Lua had Few drink was actually the finalized version of the potion. And so long as Few just doesn't die, that may be project complete for Lua, right? So, you know... Yeah, damn. So what the fuck was the point of this? Like, you know... Let's see. Well, what do you mean, why? Because you're fucking feeding him poison, dog. Like, what? You know... Dude, I bet Vivian, yeah, dude, I'm not even gonna lie, that fucking curse from Vivian, that's so petty. The you always just lose half it. That is so fucking crazy in terms of like, also, I completely forgot, Lua seemingly has a thing for, it. God, that's such a fucking awkward. So Lucy had a thing for Lua. Lua supposedly has a thing for Vivian, right? You know... Again, it's just kind of reverse engineering Lua's spleen spell. Damn, yeah, of course it's going miserably because Lua is kind of the magician, like the magic expert, right? And again, so this was in the negative few interacting with Vivian, right? You know, does he remember? No. A couple, I mean, that's, let's let's put it this way. A couple years, like, you know, in the grand scheme of things, if he's, like, in his 20s, a couple years compared to basically just doubling his lifespan. Because, again, remember, the whole splitting spills life force, so he's going to regain that. So it's honestly not the worst thing in the world. Like, you know, it's honestly not the worst thing in the world. So if you already know the spell. And, again, he's kind of the expert here, right? So... I'm burning two lives at once. Combined leftover years, you know. I mean, to be fair, that's like, because let's put it this way. Even if it takes two years, you're only losing at max four years off your total lifespan, which really isn't that much. Like, you can make up for that by just simply being healthy and fit, right? Like, but where the fuck did you come from? Just oh, shows up in the middle of the damn store. Like, dude just steps right in between these two. Like, I can only take so much of your shit. You know, what the fuck are these two arguing about? Like, you know. And again, this is the thing, right? So this is like, I, I mean... Granted, I don't want to say Thua can, you know, tell the difference. Because, you know, again, right? It's something to where, again, you know, ver negative versus positive. Maybe he just, or maybe he's specifically targeting negative Thua. But the interesting thing being that, again, you and negative Thua and Vivian are ones talking about, oh, why the fuck is positive Thua going to him? He doesn't know shit. But also, we know negative Thua is kind of hastily, you know, and really kind of pushing for this solution in a similar way that whole few pushed for you know the splitting to begin with right so i 
I'm so I'm actually really fucking confused here. I I'm really honestly I think I'm gonna end this here. I'm actually very confused as to what is going on. We've Vivian like just every character so at this point has established that Lua is up to no good and don't mess with him. Negative Theo was the one who told again. Vivian told Negative Theo, who told Positive Theo, "You don't need to deal with this man anymore." Positive Theo confronted Lua and closed off that. And now somehow Negative Theo is willing to go with Lua, and Vivian's like, you know, giving the go. That's this is so weird. I don't know. Regardless, again, the whole thing I'd say is very like interesting. Wow, we really don't have any of these. All right. But it is interesting. Again, we are kind of committing to this whole merging concept. Like, I really do think there, there. It seems to be that there's three main rounds: the whole merging, you know, the whole oh, you're just you're not merged, but they still you know coexist, and then the whole oh, you just kill off your negative half. But again, very interesting. I guess we'll see come tomorrow, right? You know what this all entails. Um, but yeah, with that. I don't really have much else to say for this one. So, yep. So, for this one, see you in the next one.